All right, hello everybody. So today let's look at a head loss question. Here's what it says. This head loss for a six meter, so the length is given, a six meter pipe with the property and dimensions given in the figure below. That's my question. I'm trying to find the head loss, All right? The pressure are given in each uh, section. And you can see here that it just leaves to the atmosphere with gauge pressure as zero. And at this particular cross section, my pressure is 20 kilopascals. Now, in this kind of questions, we have two options, okay? I wanna talk about these options so you can judge which one to use. And this question is using one of the approaches. The next question I'm gonna solve will use the other approach, okay? The first approach is using the extended Bernoulli's equation. And this equation is given in the reference manual to you, okay? Um, and the second approach is basically there's a definition for HF, which is the head loss. It's gonna be F, L over D, V squared over 2G, okay? Um, so in order to differentiate which one I should be using in, in this equation or this equation will be determined by looking at these parameters, whether I can, I can obtain them. One, this F is a function of the Reynolds number, and epsilon over d, epsilon over d is only for turbulent. So f is a function of Reynolds number and epsilon over d. So Reynolds number, Reynolds number is rho v d over nu. Okay, density and viscosity, I, uh, I should be able to get that if the uh, particular fluid is given to me. But this v is not given, right, in this question. d is not given. So I will not be able to use the second approach here. This approach is going to fail. So then I better use the first approach. Okay. So that is my approach for these kind of questions to understand what am I going to use. Okay. So after obtaining this, actually the rest is not that uh, difficult. So we are just going to use the extended Bernoulli's equation. Let's go like this. P1 over specific weight plus V1 square over 2G plus Z1. And there's an HP over here. The manual doesn't say this is the input power, but it's zero in this particular case. It's simply a pipe, right? Um, V2 square over 2G plus Z2 plus HF. And the question is asking you on this, right? So let's go back over here. What is the V1? Let's start by that. I typically start by that. What is V1? What is V2? See that I was not given enough information. I don't know V1. I don't know V2. But here's what I do know. From the continuity equation, V1A1 will be equal to V2A2, correct? And did you realize that this is a constant diameter pipe? So then these A1 and A2 will be the same. So from here, I will get V1 is equal to V2, right? So then the terms will drop out, okay? If I go ahead and find a datum like this, right? So that is, that is aligned with the center of the cross section number two, and if this, this becomes a datum, then what will happen is the Z2 will be zero, right? So that will be gone. And what will be Z1 while we are there? The length of the pipe is given as six meters, so this is gonna be six times sine of 30, right? So this will be six times sine of 30, just three, right? Sine of 30 is uh, one half. So this is three, that's the number. So then I should be good to go. So let's look at the P1. P1 is 20 kilopascal, that's given to me. So 20,000, don't forget to convert the pascals. Specific weight is, let's use, use units as well, pascal. And this is 9,810 uh, Newton per meter cube. That is given to me in the reference manual. Uh, plus six times sine 30, which is actually three, right? Uh, will be equal to, what is P2? We said that it has been uh, exposed to atmosphere at the exit, so that is gone. The only thing left on the right hand side is HF. So then you can see here, we don't need actually we don't really need a calculator for this question. You can see this is you know think of this as like close to ten thousand, so that's like two plus three. So that's the the answer is D, right? For this particular question. Thank you for watching this video.